Hi everyone, today we have my Tamiya Blackfoot Extreme and the footage, the beginning footage of this thing stuck was filmed forever ago. I started this project, I don't even remember when, it was so long ago. And it was one of those things where I started it, needed a couple of miscellaneous things, little things to get it completed and just took me forever to get it because other cars came, got distracted, whatever, kind of forgot about the project. But it's been done um, for a few weeks now and I have been driving it uh, around and it's a lot of fun and hopefully you guys enjoy this video of my Blackfoot Extreme. Hi everyone. Um, so I'll be doing a voiceover for this section because um, like I mentioned, this part was filmed a while ago so I was pretty early into my transition my voice was still not quite there yet so I, I sound quite different in this section in the original audio so that's what that's the reason for the voiceover but here you see the Blackfoot Extreme in pretty much stock configuration I did have to change out a couple things in the time that I've owned it to this point um, you can see I changed out the tires for the ones from my Tamiya CR01 Rock Soccer. The stock tires from the Blackfoot Extreme are the same ones on the Monster Beetle. So they're really hard Chevron spike tires, which is fine for the stock Mobuchi motor and whatnot. But I wanted a little bit more compliance um, from the tires and a little bit more traction as well. So these tires are perfect for it because they fit right on to the correct size um, and even though they're too hard to be crawler tires they're significantly softer than the stock blackfoot tires so i thought it'd be a nice upgrade it's still running the uh, friction shocks um, still running the stock mobuchi motor still running bushings in it um, but you can see taking the body off it's you can obviously it's still two-wheel drive I've upgraded the servo to a 25 kg metal gear waterproof servo to replace the plastic Futaba servo that was originally in it um, the receiver was also changed to a 2.4 gigahertz unit because the 27 megahertz unit that I had in it originally died so the antenna tube at this point is pretty cosmetic um, the ESC though, I'm still running the same ESC that it came with. Uh, I forget exactly which model it is, but um, it's one of the older Tamiya ESC uh, models. As you can see here, I pulled off the transmission from my Mud Blaster 2 um, and stuck the front suspension and steering components to that, suspend, uh, to that transmission and it is literally just a bolt-on maneuver. So. Um, very, 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 very easy to do, especially if you have a second truck to steal parts from. Um, otherwise, if you're tr if you're starting from scratch, literally all you have to buy is the transmission part um, and your existing front suspension and st stuff like that will fit. Uh, I I will also recommend you get the bumper off of the rear rear transmission as well. I like the rear bumper more than the front bumper that, it, that comes with its stock because it's a little bit more rigid and a little bit more stable than the, the stock bumper. So um, I like that a lot. It's also lower profile, so it won't get caught as easily when you're like trying to jump up curbs and stuff. So another little benefit there. Um, but as far as upgrading it, it should just bolt right in. So it should be a really easy upgrade. Um, the one thing though is obviously it will become a dual motor truck at that point so you will have to get a different ESC and you will see later what ESC I went with to um, for that dual motor functionality.
So here it is, the completed 4x4 Blackfoot Extreme. Uh, it's basically a mini cloud buster at this point. Dual motor, uh, monster truck. And as you will see in the running video very soon, seasons have long changed uh, since I ran the stock car. It's just one of those projects that I started and then other projects, other things in life just kept coming and uh, <laughs> took just way too long to uh, finish it. But it's finally done. Um, you can see the wheels changed and the tires changed. They are the wheels and tires that came on the uh, Sen Racing Jimny monster truck. Um, basically lunchbox size, more all-terrain pattern. They're gonna be a bit harder than the crawler tires, vice crawler tires that I had on it before on the stock wheels, but they're much wider. Um, so I think that's going to add to a bit of uh, stability. Also, I think the white wheels look really cool with this color scheme. So the build of it went pretty smoothly. Um, nothing really too much to report. Um, I am running two of the stock uh, Mabuchi motors, so it's not going to be a speed demon by any, any means, but uh, it still gets around. And for the ESC, I am running the um, Hobby Wing dual motor brushed ESC. Forget exactly which one it is, my apologies, but that's what I'm running with an EC3 connector on Spectrum receiver. Just still the same single servo. You can set it up with rear steer, but for such a small truck, I really didn't see the need for it. So just running a single servo up front. Um, I did want to switch out the sh uh, shocks because with having the dual motors now, it does weigh a lot more than it, does, it did before. So I needed a bit of stiffer springs and also I wanted oil dampers. So I went with these um, option one, option number one, aluminum shocks from eBay. Um, and they look pretty good and they seem to work pretty well as well. So pretty happy with those. Didn't go with the super tall, um, like, Stampede style shocks and shock tower and stuff because I actually like that this thing has the short shocks because it makes it act a lot like a solid axle monster truck in certain obstacles because there's so little travel. So I actually really like how that drives. So really happy with those. And other than that, it's just a pretty straightforward bolt-on process. Uh, I guess I did also upgrade the servo mount with an aluminum one. But yeah, it's a pretty simple build. Everything just basically bolted right on. They're all Tamiya parts. Timmy also had a truck like this before as a kit, so it's really not that far-fetched. But you guys probably wanna see how this thing drives, so let's take it to the park. You're gonna see all the green is gone, but let's take it to the park and see how this thing drives.
So this has been a really fun build. It was a very easy build um, and very rewarding build. So if you have these parts laying around um, or if you have this truck, maybe this is a build you want to do. I'm not the first to do it. Tania has done it before, like I said. Other people have done it before. Um, so it's just a really easy and fun mod to do to your uh, Mud Blaster 2, your general w WT01 um, monster trucks. So, very fun build. I absolutely love how this thing turned out. If anyone wants this truck, they're gonna have to drop a big chunk of change to pry it away from me because I do absolutely love this truck. So, hopefully you guys also loved it. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, I hope everyone has a great day and have fun with RC.